All right, so here's a website that someone sent me. You guys might find this interesting. It's the five most common addictions in America. Because, you know, I guess each country has its uh, own list of addictions. This is the five most common addicting things, not just like drugs or anything, in America. And I guess I might as well make this exciting and start with number five. Coming in at number five, they have food. They just have the word food. And I, uh... I'm guessing they probably should have been a little more specific on this because you just can't put food as something addicting because it's like a necessity. I mean, maybe they should have put junk food or fast food or, you know, sugars or something, but you just can't put food on there. A lot of people probably read this, but ooh, that's not good. I eat food almost every day. Maybe I need some help. You got to be more specific, people. And this is from the uh, mastersinpublichealth.net. Dot net, so you know they must be, you know, a valid news source. But I, I will say this: food, for me at least, is very addicting. Actually, I'll tell you guys a little mini story. I won't uh, take up too much of your time. But whenever I'm like walking through the supermarket or the grocery store or anything, and I know that I shouldn't buy junk food because you know a bunch of people say it's bad for you or whatnot. But I'm always like walking past a box of Oreos or something. <laughs> And I'm like, all right, I know I shouldn't get this, but if I buy the Oreos and I eat the Oreos, then I'll have energy from the food, and then I can get a lot of work done. So I kind of have to trick myself into buying junk food. And, you know, I use the same trick. It works every time, so, you know, that's what I do. And I will <laughs> another thing, when I'm in, like, McDonald's or something, and by the way, I go to McDonald's a lot, if you guys haven't noticed, I'd be like, all right, in a double cheeseburger for like a dollar or something, it's 500 calories. And everyone's like, do you know how many calories are in a double cheeseburger every time they see me eating one? And they're like, 500 or, you know, however many calories are in it. And I'm just thinking to myself, that's awesome. That's an awesome deal. Where where else can you buy something that has 500 calories in it for only a dollar? You know, you know how many apples I would have to buy to get 500 calories? I can't be wasting all my money on that. It's like a dollar deal. It's awesome. But anyways, let me move on. Number four, the number four most addicting thing in America, marijuana. It's interesting. A lot of people say that isn't addicting, but I guess this website says it is. That's number four, which I guess the only thing I have to say about marijuana is there. I don't smoke marijuana because I can't for my job. But the people who do smoke marijuana, I know, the only thing that they want in life, it seems like, is to get other people to smoke marijuana. So that's my only comment on marijuana. All right. Number three most addicting thing in America is alcohol. It's interesting. All right. Number two, they put tobacco. But I think they probably should have changed that to nicotine because I don't think it's the tobacco... That's the addicting part. I think it's the nicotine. I'm beginning to think that this website is uh, is not really valid. All right. Now, number one. The number one most addicting thing in America, you guys are never going to guess this. It says media. And I was like, well, what the heck? Do they mean like People Magazine and Entertainment Tonight and newspapers? But then I read the paragraph and it said like internet, television, MP3 players. So they probably should have renamed that too. Or, you know, split that up. Because, you know, that's kind of a stupid way to put it. No one thinks about MP3 players and internet when you say media. Just think of internet. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I agree with that list. Except I will say this. Along the lines of media, I can kind of see that I'm addicted to the internet. I'm more addicted. You know what I'm addicted to now that I think about it? You know what would be number one on my list? Netflix. Because I'm addicted to Netflix. It's bad. For those of you guys who don't know how Netflix work, you pretty much play a monthly fee. And uh, they send you a movie in the mail. And you can keep it for as long as you want. A day or a month. So I feel like I need to watch as many movies in a month as I possibly can. So it has now become my number one priority to watch Netflix movies. <laughs> and it's pretty bad. Like even, I swear I did this in... If my friend hears this, then he's going to hate me. But my friend was, uh, he was, he needed a ride, basically. 
and he called me and he wanted me to give him one and I was like uh I can't and the re- <laughs> and the reason I told him I couldn't was because I had a Netflix movie that I wanted to watch so that's what I chose to do instead of helping out a friend that's actually pretty selfish of me but yeah it's getting pretty bad my Netflix addiction this is even worse than alcohol or marijuana or tobacco for me it's Netflix I may need need to even go to a Netflix convention. Do they have those? Conventions for Netflix addicts? There might even be one tonight. But then again, I couldn't go to it. I have a Netflix movie to watch tonight, so that's, uh, that's too bad.